Let's start off with man's best friend. Here's the short version of the long story. The oldest confirmed pet dog is via burial site remains 14,000 years ago. Others had suggested it could be over 30,000 years of our partnership with pups, but it was mostly speculation. Here we find definitive proof now that our companions have stuck by us through both the Lake Mungo and Gothenburg magnetic excursions, the solar events that changed our planets within them, the younger, driest, harshest part of the Ice Age too. Our teammates through hardship and disaster, just like today. It's all about the climate. First, we recall last month that we learned that the Arctic warming was responsible for a huge chunk of climate change and that it wasn't CO2 but a weakening ozone. Well, now they're trying to pull back on the Arctic effects on the lower latitude jets and wave trains. It was a fair hypothesis, but it appears something else is driving jet strength versus instability. By the way, there's over a hundred papers on the solar forcing of the jets. But now speaking of the Arctic, uh-oh. Remember when NASA and Yale were describing the cold climate bomb ready to be unleashed by the Beaufort Gyre? The freshwater release that they are saying maybe would not shut down the Atlantic circulation. Well, maybe it won't, but maybe it will. Because it turns out the models blaming meteors or volcanoes for the younger Dryas still cannot hold up mathematically. But freshwater melt is the wrench in the engine and the cascading effects taking out the entire northern hemisphere, then beginning in on the southern hemisphere through the interactions with the South Atlantic and South Pacific. Well, that works in the models mathematically just fine. Speaking of the South, in Antarctica, they are continuing their side of things too. It's been five years since the scientists from the University of Texas showed it was actually underwater volcanoes doing that melting via ocean heating from directly below and over the long term. All it amounts to is cooler, fresher water making ready for a major shift back to solid state once again. Folks, the Woods Hole team was indeed in on this one as well with Amherst. When they tell you the cold climate bomb might not shut down the Atlantic and cause an ice age, I'm sorry, you just can't buy their theater of optimism. This planet, she knows what she's doing. It's the humans that don't. Mm -hmm.